Hello, and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In today's video, we're going to talk about a topic that's at the foundation of brass playing. That's breathing and blowing. We're going to take those terms and we're going to change them around a little bit and discuss something I like to call R&R. So what is R&R? It refers to the recycling of air and the releasing of air. This is something that our body knows how to do very efficiently without us telling it to do anything. So many times before we play, we'll take a big breath and we'll blow that air out. And we're actually kind of overriding something that the body naturally knows how to do without us telling it to do anything. So in this video, I want to explore a little bit of the recycling process and the releasing process. I read an interesting study done by the Environmental Protection Agency that says that we take roughly 20,000 breaths in one day. Now, if you multiply that by one year, we're talking about 7,300,000 breaths. It's definitely something that our body knows how to do without us telling it how to do it. So we need to rely on that skill and let our bodies do the work of what they naturally know how to do without us getting in the way. The key to recycling and releasing air is relaxation. Now relaxation can lead to the freedom of airflow through our bodies, which is ultimately what we're looking for. We want that air to flow freely through us, down into the instrument, and out to the listener. In today's video, I'm going to do my best to demonstrate how relaxation can lead to efficiency and make our job a heck of a lot easier. So let me grab my horn and let's get to it. In this exercise, I'm going to use the chromatic scale. I'm going to start on a concert middle F and I'll go up to a high F. And the purpose of this is to observe really what the body is doing when you release the air, not blow the air. And when you relax at the end of that and you just let that air recycle. I'm going to give you a few different camera angles so you can observe what's happening with the muscles in my face and a little wider shot so you can see what's going on with the rest of the upper body. On the initial attacks of these phrases, I'm just using a breath attack, no tone. And even as I go through these exercises, I'm not really focused on the articulation type. I'm more so just thinking about letting the air flow freely. Now you'll notice at the start of each phrase, I'm not taking a big active breath. I'm literally just relaxing and letting that air release. And then I'll relax and just let the air release. Now, as I continue on into the upper register, I don't want anything to change. I want to still stay as relaxed as I possibly can. Let the air recycle and then let it go. It's important not to put any strain or stress on yourself or your mind, especially as you em enter the upper register. Kind of like that note. It wasn't my favorite note ever. But sometimes we have to learn how to keep on going on. And really for the purpose of this video, we're just focusing more on the recycling and the releasing of the air. 
and really important as we get into this extreme upper register to stay relaxed. Hopefully you were able to make some observations that will help you with your playing. The recycling and releasing of air is really a small mental shift that can lead to big results as far as efficiency goes. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time right here at the Chop Shop.